Can you guys see this? The Nest thermostat right here is red. That means the heat's on. The heat's on. This morning, it's in the high 40s. And I'll put Celsius on the screen down there now. So why am I telling you about the weather? The reason is because it's race day. It's race day again, my friends. All right, let me finish my breakfast and I'll tell you about the race. All right, guys, on my way. So let me just give you a little rundown about this race. It's a 50K and I looked into it, I don't know, a couple days ago because today is the last, the weekend of my last long run before my 50 mile race with Michelle. So that's down in the Everglades. You remember I'm running the 50 mile race with my daughter Michelle. It's her first 50 mile race. So I have to get some miles in my legs. I know that I am not gonna wanna do a long run around my house. Like, I just don't feel like it. I did the marathon two weeks ago and I'm still tired from that. So I need a little extra motivation to do the long run. So I signed up for a 50K. It's local, it's only about a 30, 30 minute drive down to the park where the race is. It's all on trails and it's gonna be very low key. So no time goal, I'm just going out to cover the distance. And that's the goal today. Did get very lucky with the weather. You know, you saw it's very cool and that makes running just a lot easier. Got the old uh, Aftershocks Aeropex with me. So I'll be able to listen to some podcasts if things get a little rough and I just need to take my mind off the running for a little bit. Oh, by the way, I'm doing that drawing next week for the Aftershocks Aeropex. So if you haven't entered, I'll link to the video in the description. Go ahead and check it out. Leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed and you could have a chance of winning them. I still have to register when I get there. I didn't register because I didn't, I didn't have confidence in myself that I would really get up and go and do this race. So I didn't register ahead of time. So I'm gonna register and then we'll see how it goes. We're here on the beach. We're here on the beach in Oscar State Park. Whew, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, about seven degrees Celsius. It's a bit chilly. I'm not looking forward to taking off this jumper to run. Uh, I'm going to be running in uh, my sun shirt just because I'm going to be out in the sun for so long today and it is going to be warming up. I've got to appreciate this cold weather while it's here. In past years there has usually been between 20 and 40 people running this race. I have no idea how many people are going to be running this year. Oh there are two races. There's a 50k and then there's a 25k fun run. As you know I am doing the 50k Oh, all right, let me catch up with you on the start line and we'll, we'll get the show on the road. All right guys, this race really captures the essence of ultra running. Everyone is very relaxed, just hanging out. You can see here, this is the starting line. Starting in about 10 seconds. Yeah. That's it, the 10 second warning. And I guess we're going this way. All right, that's it, we're getting ready. I guess about two or three seconds till the race starts. So far, so good. Easy does it today. Got to remember why I'm out here today. And it's not to blast the 50K, it's a train for the 50 mile. All right, here we go. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, we're about a 5K in, running through these beautiful scrub. Got a nice little group around me. Behind, give a wave. Yeah. All right, so I didn't tell you before we started that this 50K is four 7.75 mile loops. I'll put it on the screen in kilometers. All right, we are almost at mile 11. I'll watch out for the got, time. <laughs> got Dan, Ryan, and Ava right behind me. 
Ava's a first place female. And yeah, having a good day. Having a good day out on the trails. Ryan, two people behind me, he's going to be doing the Everglades Ultra. So you will see him again on camera. All right, we are coming into the aid station. Just finishing the second lap. All right, feeling good. Me and Dan, I don't know. And we lost Ryan and Ava. All right, buddy, catch up with me. All right, I just lost Dan for a second. So hopefully he'll catch up with me in a few minutes. I tell you, that was a, a very easy couple of laps. Having people to talk to the whole time makes a big difference. Maybe I should slow down and wait for him. Nah, I'll let them catch up with me. All right, onward. The only way is up, people. All right, well, I just learned a very valuable lesson. I was actually running, looking at my phone. I was posting this picture and I look up and I see a ribbon and there's a path off to the right. I took it and it turns out that it was not the right path. And because I'm running alone, I didn't have these other sets of eyes to tell me I was going the wrong way. So I realized my mistake. I don't know, it probably wasn't more than half a mile. And now I'm back on course. And hopefully I can catch up with uh, my other friends that were just behind me because that would have given them enough time to pass me. So now the race is on. Just over 20 miles, 11 miles to go. Oh yeah. So guys, the lesson is put your phone away when you're on the trails. You might take a wrong turn. Oh, rookie mistake. All right, I'm at 23 miles. Man, I still haven't caught sight of Ryan, Dan, or Ava. They're in front of me somewhere. I hope I can catch them. Still got one lap to go since I uh, found my way back to the course. I've been running a little harder and uh, yeah, now it's not such an easy run. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. See if we can hang on to the pace. Good job, buddy. So I'm wrapping up the third loop of this four lap course, starting to pass some other runners. Some of the 25Ks wrapping up their race. Ah, still having fun. It's warming up. It's still nice, but yeah, it's getting a bit warm. This is a super fun part of the trail. It's getting tight through here. There's a pond off to my right, but you probably can't see it through the, through the brush. Got to watch your feet. There's some roots sticking up in places. That'll take you down. Well, it'll take me down. I don't want to brag, but I haven't tripped once yet. I shouldn't really say that because Oh, still have eight, eight and a half miles to go. There's plenty of time. All right, just crossed the marathon mark. 42.2 kilometers, 26.2 miles. Still having a great time though. A great time. I think I'm in fourth place right now. Keep plugging along. It's all we can do, right? about five kilometers to go five kilometers to go and uh, my legs are pretty heavy but pushing through oh it feels like I'm barely moving all right coming into the finish all right all right guys that was tough here's Dan job, I was chasing him the whole last lap <laughs> How long have you been finished? I think three minutes. Yeah. Okay, I was three minutes and 40 seconds when we started this lap. So I made up about 40 seconds, which is pretty poor considering I was chasing you the whole way. <laughs> well, All right, excellent race. Uh, 
bad guys. That was a fun race. So third overall, first masters, good race. Oh, if I didn't have taken that wrong turn, man, whew, perhaps I could have got second, who knows. Happy with third though. Hey, What's up, man? Awesome, right, let me grab the camera. This is Ryan, you recognize him because uh, we were running together earlier. First two loops. Yeah, man. How you feeling? Feeling good, that was awesome. First one done, and then one out. We're gonna hit everything. Yeah, man. Soon. Yeah, I'll see you then. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. All right, guys, overall, today was a really fun race. I had a great time, met some great people. Uh, congratulations to Bert for winning. Congratulations to Ava for winning. And it was nice meeting you, Dan, and you, Ryan. And Ryan, we're going to see each other again in the Everglades. So uh, yeah, Ryan, you're going to be on another episode because I'll have the camera at Everglades too. Thanks for watching. Tell me about your race plans last weekend or whenever you're watching this, tell me about your race plans you've got coming up. Guys, be kind, be happy, run well, and I'll see you next time. Boom.